I've noticed a lot of videos lately where people are talking about how they feel like they have no friends. This is a feeling that I am somewhat familiar with. I moved to America in 2008 from England and people are always interested in where I came from and want to know about the Queen. But sometimes that's where that ends and friendships can feel very surfacey. And ever since the pandemic started and we started working from home, I think that people started to feel more isolated. And friendship is kind of a weird thing, right? You know, when you're young, you're like, hey, you want to be friends? But when you're an adult and you make friends, you just kind of, you kind of fall into it. It's not like you sign a contract. And so the assurance that someone is your friend really comes from interacting with them whether it be on a day-to-day -day basis or every week, month, there has to be something that says to you, yeah, we're still friends. I really feel like that went away and it clearly went away for many people. And now we live in a different society. Work from home is kind of more the norm, but we're social creatures. I think for me, it's always been hard because I've never been interested in sports and my interests are often in things that are a little peculiar like 3D printing and, and building batteries for e-bikes. And while people show interest in those things, it's not something that just carries into conversation. Like I'm never on top of the latest trends. When I walk into an elevator with somebody and they say, hey, did you see the game last night? And I'm like, oh, yeah. No, I didn't, I didn't see it. And I, I feel really awkward because I didn't see it, because I, I wasn't interested in watching it. And, you know, part of me wishes that I was, but I wasn't. And foolishly, I just, I go with it. I'm like, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. And, you know, they'll mention an amazing goal or, you know, something amazing that happened in this game. And I'll be like, yeah, that was crazy. And I don't know that they even realize that I have no idea what they're talking about. And it makes me sad to think that there's that social interaction and it's in a club that I'm not a part of. And if I was to try to be a part of it, I feel like I would be an imposter because it wouldn't be genuine. And so I don't consider myself good at making friends. And while I think I do many interesting things, I think that I have a hard time relating to typical conversation. I see lots of people that are just friends with everybody. It's like watching someone as they socialize and seeing all of these words charge them up. Whereas for me, I just can't get there. So if there's a group of people and I'm in the group, my conversation is going to dwindle away because I just can't relate. And so you end up feeling isolated and that's okay because I do have some people that are interested in the things I do and are interested in me as a person. And I hold on to that. I realize that my friends will be few and far between and maybe those are higher quality friendships. I'd like to think so, but maybe they're not. Maybe that's just false hope. In any case, it's very clear that this pandemic has brought about a sense of loneliness for people, a sense of disattachment, where people feel as though they don't have friends. And these people may have felt as though they had friends before, but then they lost that connection with people. And when you're in that state where you've lost the connection with people, but you see those people still hanging out with other people, it really defeats you inside. But sometimes the truth is quite simple, that those two people just decided to hang out. One of them said, hey, do you want to hang out? And you could have been that person. You could be the person saying, hey, would you like to hang out? And I think about this, and sometimes I forget that this is the case. While the self-doubt in my head is telling me, no, people don't really want to be around you. Historically, I know that that's not true because at one point I set up a guy's night and a bunch of guys came and hung out and we played video games and we ate pizza and chicken wings and it was a blast. They didn't have to come, they chose to. So when I think about things like that, I realize that yes, I'm becoming disattached from people and also my mind is becoming disattached from reality. And so if you feel like you don't have friends, and it's a feeling that really is eating you up inside. You've got to choose what to do about it because you're not the only person that feels that way. And unfortunately, sitting around and feeling sad about it isn't going to get you anywhere. If you want to meet people, you've got to do something interesting.
Maybe get up and go to a volunteer group, go to your local church, just do something that involves interacting with other people, doing something that isn't about you, something that's selfless, but where you also get the opportunity to get to know people and they get the opportunity to know you. And that's my two cents on this situation. COVID undoubtedly killed so many people, but while not as deadly, there is a vast number of people that are suffering from depression where their lives have been twisted because of this new age that we live in. If this is something that you've gone through or are going through, leave a comment and just mention your experience. It's important when someone is going through this to realize that you're not alone, that this is a normal feeling to feel in this time and that you can get through it. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.